Hey guys, Shaw Show 2020 here on the show floor at CMMG. I'm with Jordan here, and we're gonna talk about some of the new stuff that CMMG has. Yep. It's pretty neat, so take a look. Yeah. Uh, so newest for us is what we're calling our 5.7 AR conversion mag. I'll say 5.7 is really picking up steam the last month or two. Um, we've already been, I say we've been on this bandwagon for a long time. I'll mm -hmm. say our Mark 57 platform we released uh, it was in uh, May of 2018, I believe, okay. um, and it uses a delayed blowback upper, I'll say, upper receiver in action. Uh, but normally, it, it uses an FN 5.7 mag. I'll say that was what was available at the time, um, and it worked really well. But you know, we were never really satisfied with the capacity, um, and you know, we wanted it to be a little easier to get into for the average person. Mm -hmm. um, so what we came up with is this 5.7 AR conversion mag, and it works with an unmodified. Uh, AR-15 lower. I'll say standard spring, standard buffer, uh, no modifications, and you just pick up our upper receiver group, uh, or we sell it as bolt carrier uh, group and barrel combos. You know, you can build it yourself if you want. Now, is there a rifle version? Yes, so we sell this in a five inch, an eight inch, and a 16. Okay. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned, but this is 40 rounds, so that is double the capacity of a FN 5.7 pistol mag. And how many magazines comes with it, and how much are the extra magazines? Um, so I think we sell it as a, a combo with the upper as either a single mag, or I think we have a three pack version. Um, MSRP on a single mag is, I believe, $40. Okay. And a three pack, I believe, is right at 100. Okay, mm -hmm. and sounds good. It's a really small pistol thing, but this is your Banshee 300 series? Yes, Banshee 300 series. So kind of the way we lay out, we we used to have a really complicated system for naming all of our guns. You know, we had our we had a guard and an anvil and a mutant and all that. So we kind of, and then underneath one of those, there was a three letter acronym, Alphabet Soup, that got really confusing. So we kind of wiped the entire lineup last year mm -hmm. and we kind of renamed everything. So anything that is a pistol or SBR is now considered a Banshee. Anything that's a standard 16-inch length barrel is a Resolute. Anything 18-inch or longer is kind of an Endeavor. Gotcha. Underneath those, there's the 100, 200, 300 series, and that basically dictates uh, kind of your furniture and accessories. Mm -hmm. So the 300 series is kind of our, our flagship, top of the line, ambi charging handle, um, ambi safety selector, factory standard uh, Cerakote in one of 10 different colors. Um, and then depending on exact model and configuration, you know, you may get an upgraded trigger, or these have our micro version of our rip stock or I'm sorry, this is the rip brace. Gotcha. Um, I'll say which, you know, without pushing any buttons, you can go from fully collapsed to fully extended. Um, and then there's also a little, uh, there's a screw down here in the bottom, which I don't know if you can see. Yep. Um, if you have a preferred location that's in one or two clicks, you put the screw on the other side of that locking pin, so whenever you go to deploy it the next time, mm. it stops at your spot. Gotcha. Yep. All right. So next, we're moving on to this thing, which is in 5.56. Psych, it's actually yeah. a nine mil. <laughs> yeah, um, that'd be a brutal 5.56, yeah. that barrel length. <laughs> Absolutely. So what did you guys do here? Uh, so kind of the, the same concept there. So we already had released a Glock compatible radial delay blowback uh, platform. Um, I think that was in November 2017 timeframe. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, we wanted to lower that entry point to kind of get more people into the pistol caliber market, especially nine mil. And nine mil is relatively similar enough in uh, cartridge diameter to 5.56 that you can squeeze it into a 5.56 mag. Um, but you know, we kind of we partnered with a company um, called Mean Arms um, that had one for straight blowback. We helped them redesign that feed ramp and do a few other things to make it work specifically with our platform. And that allowed us to come out with uh, what we call our 9 AR conversion mag. So this is now, you take a standard Magpul P mag, Gen 2 or Gen 3, uh, pull out your spring and follower and you replace it with these guts. And then now you have 30 rounds of 9 mil. And again, unmodified lower receiver. Uh, so it's especially handy if you have an NFA item, like an SBR uh, or a registered full auto. I don't know if I mentioned that, both of these are cut. So, you know, if you have a binary trigger that's dependent on a, an auto trip on your carrier, gotcha. or you have a drop-in auto sear, all that fun stuff, um, you know, these are compatible and these will run. Question, um, for people with legacy 9mm AR-15s, you know, the older Colt 9mm, any other thing, yeah. can they just take their upper and because I know some of them have different magazine walls for previous 9 mil rounds. Can Correct. they just take that upper or just buy that upper, buy your magazine and then use whatever lower they want? No, so because of our delayed blowback system and the way it works, um, this does not have an ejector on it. I'm oh, sorry, gotcha. the 9 mil one does not have an ejector on it. So a normal straight blowback 9 mil has a fixed ejector and that's, that's kind of important. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're, like I said, the company that we partnered with, their original was, a fixed ejector 
version for straight blowback. Gotcha. So this magazine is only um, useful in the yes. CMMG yes. version? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very important clarification there. Yep. Um, MSRP for both of these? Um, I believe the, well, I think these are right around $12.99, but don't quote me. I am awful at keeping up with MSRPs. Our website is accurate, and I am not. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I think they're around $12.99. And then for the convert or for the 9mm? Yeah, so the 9mm magazines, we sell just the internals um, because you can just modify your existing uh, P mags. And those are like $29 a piece, or I think it's uh, like $75 for a three pack somewhere in there. Gotcha. Uh, and then the 5.7 mags are $40 MSRP, or it's about $100 for a, a three pack. All right, and then we have another one right here. You have a 10 millimeter. Yes, so this one goes to 10. Um, yeah, so again, you know, we developed that radio delay blowback system um, a few years ago, specifically for our 45 ACP mm -hmm. that we released with Glock Mags. Um, and that really allowed us to go into some other calibers that you can't really do with straight blowback. Um, so we, we developed that system, like I said, on 45 out of necessity. It wasn't just like, oh, we want something that's cooler and different. Mm -hmm. It was, we were trying to do a straight blowback and it didn't work. Like recoil was so harsh, rounds literally jump out of the magazine. Can't really feed a round that's not where it belongs. Um, so, you know, once we kind of figured out that radial delay, blow, radial yeah. delay blowback system, we kind of took it and then applied it to, you know, pretty much anything we can. So we've done it in nine mil. Uh, 40, uh, obviously 45, um, and then 10, and then 5.7 by 28 gotcha. as well. Um, question, why couldn't you design a 10 mil thing like for the PMAG where you have a dropping um, piece there? So that's where you, that's, so like I said, the 9 mil is very similar in size to the 5.56. Like I think it's within like 10 thousandths roughly. Okay. Um, so you don't really have too many issues squeezing it in, into a 5.56. Yeah. But once you get up into the larger cartridges like 10 mil, 40, 45, that's so much bigger that it's no longer really going to be a, a double stack. You're getting into a weird like one and a half and you're swelling and everything is just, it's not going to work. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jordan. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. And oh, uh, MSRP on this guy? Uh, it is a little bit more. It is at, I think it's like 1599. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Thanks so much. We hope you have a good show and a successful 2020. Thank you. All right.